Well, here we go, Phoenix TV time again. And as always, we've got a fair bit of news for you, including a bit of signing news. Got a bit of stick last week for talking to an empty chair. Pete Hagen was pretty busy with his sledge hockey, etc. Hope all of you that went at the weekend enjoyed, enjoyed the sledge hockey at, at Altrincham. But I found somebody else. A lot of you will know him already for his excellent uh, commentary on Twitter on game night. He's affectionately known as Jake the Twit. Guys, Jake, hi Jake. Morning, how are you doing, Tambo? Not too bad. The actual game night, it's going well. Yeah, um, obviously I was only in for sort of half to three quarters of the first season last season, but really, really enjoyed it. It seems to have gone down well with the fans as well as across the league. I'm really enjoying it. There's a lot of good positive stuff, as you say, from, from other teams as well. OK, let's get on with the business then. OK, we're going to have a wee look at uh, three teams and how they're shaping up for the season. And I'm going to start in alphabetical order with the Basingstoke Bison. They've so far announced the returning of Zach Sullivan, D-man, Joe Miller, well known to us lot, Doug Shepard back as a forward and a coach, Joe Rand, and Joe Greener has come back. There's a lot of rumours that he might have been going over to the States with his, with his, with his wife, but uh, he's also going to be an assistant coach. A couple of new players, one of my favourites from last season, Aaron Connolly from the Jets. He's moved over to Bison. And Joe Baird has gone from Swindon. Not returning, we've got Alex Simmons. He has confirmed at Swindon. Nicky Watt, he's confirmed at Peterborough. Obviously going to win trophies again. And uh, Stevie Lyle, probably the shock so far of the season. Stevie Lyle going to Swindon. Getting a bit closer to his Cardiff home there, really. Rumours. There's always rumours. Greg Chambers to the Steel Dogs. Andre Payette was in uh, the Sheffield Stir this morning, talking about he's in talks with him, so maybe a bit of mileage on that one. Tony Redmond not returning. That would be a big blow. Kurt Reynolds not returning. He apparently has an offer from the Flames. Yaroslav Chesky back to the Tigers. That could be interesting as well. Danny Hammond, quite an interesting prospect at Chelmsford, going to Bison. He has actually left Chelmsford, but we don't know which team he's gone to yet. Dean Skins in from Swindon and Lucas Zatopek in from Milton Keynes. Jake, a few nam names to conjure up some talk about. Uh, yeah, really. I mean, it's, it's the same at every point this season. Everybody's talking about stuff. Um, but to, to go off the bison, you know, the, the ins and outs, it's a straight swap, really. Um, what out, Connolly in. Like you say, Connolly had a really, really good season last year with the Jets. Uh, Joe Baird in to replace Alex Simmons leaving. Simmons had a good a good season for the Bison last year. Simmons uh, not returning for them. You, you could call it a blow, but Joe, Joe Baird for me is a ready-made replacement for me there. They don't seem to... I wouldn't have said they've got any stronger, but they certainly haven't got any weaker. Well, I think uh, they're going to miss Nicky Watt's agitating style. I don't think Aaron Connolly's that sort of player. Yeah. And there's a few rumours on the, on the forums, really, about... Uh, Baird and Simmons, because Baird was at Bison before, so he is yeah. a returning player. Yeah, um, like well, if anything, that'll work to their advantage. He knows the club, he knows how they run. Right, OK. Right, we'll move on to the Bracknell Bees. Strange this time, they, Katie and Stuart, the owners for the last five years, they announced that they were not continuing, and they've just announced their new leaders this week. And... Coach Gareth Cox, he's staying. But there's no players being announced yet and no word really of how they're going to be shaping up for the new season. One we know that is not returning is Carl Ambler. He has retired. He's moved up north to be with his good lady, Carla, whom we all know uh, with her ducks every, every game. But uh, no team for him. He's said he's retiring. Concentrate on, on other things. Rumours, though. There's a lot of rumours with them. Tom Annette's not returning. Sam Oakford to re-sign. Lucas Smittle to re-sign. That actually has, was confirmed with the announcement of the new owner. So Lucas Smittle is actually back. Lewis Turner to re-sign. Sean Thompson to come back. Scott Spearing, one of my favourite players, not to come back. Greg Rock went to sign from the Jets. I really just don't believe that one, but uh, who knows. Chris Wiggins leaving Milton Keynes and heading back over to the M4 corridor with Bracknell, possibility. Andy Hemmings to sign from Flames. Alex Metham to sign for the Bees or the Bison 
from Milton Keynes. And Camo Tiverde, now there's a strange one there. He actually did re-sign for Milton Keynes. Then they announced that uh, he wouldn't be coming back. Some sort of internal problems there, which uh, nobody knows anything about. Apparently he's in talks with the Bees and the Jets. So, slow start for Bracknell. Yeah, I, it's uh, it's an odd one, obviously, the uh, the change in leadership of Bichette. That's that's going to have affected them. But um, I think you hit the nail on the head, really, with Schmittal, um signing on and saying he's staying there. That's that's a statement of intent from them. He's a very, very powerful forward, is uh, Schmittal. He scored some <laughs> simply exceptional goals last year at the Ice Storm as well as uh, at home in Bracknell for them. Very, very strong player. It's good for them to have resigned him. Right, we we'll just need to watch this space with Bratner, really. There's a lot to come, but uh, I do think they'll, uh, Gareth Cox will keep the core of his team. Yeah, you'd uh, hope so. I mean, goes. watching them last year, they were, a, they were an up-and-down team for me. They could be a team that could come out and really give you a game. Or, you know, like I say, they were up-and-down. I think um, there, was a, there was a game last year, my first game was the 7-1 the where we thumped them, and that was a genuine shock because, you know, they, they really can give you a run for your money on the day. Right, last one for this week. We're on to the vanquished playoff people that we just took their took the title from them, but the league champions, and they're not they were league champions for a reason last year. So Guildford returning, one of my favourite D men, David Savage, he's back. Paul Dixon's back as coach. There's rumours of him retiring to the bench, but uh, nah, Paul will play another year, I think. David Longstaff, well, he just goes on and on and on. He's back. Our old friend Curtis Huppy, he stayed. And so we'll look for Andrew Sharp to re-sign if Curtis is there later on. And Ben Campbell, one of the brightest British prospects. He's there for another year. There's no non-returnees been announced by Guildford yet. And not a lot on the rumour mill. No new players. But the rumours from Guildford, Neil Lydiard not returning, possibly to Swindon. Andy Hemming's not returning, possibly to the Bees. Joseph Kohut to re-sign. He always seems to be the extra import at Guildford and they rush him out when they need him. Dean Holland, well, we know a little bit about him, the brief spell that he spent with us. He's re-signed. Another good D-man, Jeslin Dean, he's re-signed. And Mark Lee re-signed. Of course, these are all rumours. Nothing has been confirmed from Guildford yet on these. Jake? Yeah, I mean, um, those that are confirmed, Savage, Dixon, Longstaff, Hope and Campbell, we know Guildford have got strength. We saw it last year. Um, like you say, league champions for a reason. They're, they're, you know, they're all really good players. And I think um, if Joseph Cohut does re-sign, that's a very, very good import to have in reserve, like you say, to wheel him out when they need him. Uh, Dean Holland, again, another, uh, another solid player. Jez Lundin, for me, was one of the best defencemen in the league last year. Very, very solid at the back. Uh, and Mark Lee, obviously short of that playoff final in which he had something of a torrid game. He was, he was an excellent netminder last year. Again, it's, Guildford is strong every year. I think <laughs> it's almost nailed on for that to be the same again this season. I would think so. Again, still a lot of water to come under the bridge. I think we'll see a bit more over the next month. Well... That's it for rumours and signings for this week. Don't forget, as far as the Phoenix is concerned, if it ain't on Phoenix TV, it ain't so.